Yeah, we'll definitely get a, we'll get a pro system one day. <laughs> well, today is not that day. <laughs> this day, we'll just use the shit we, we have. <laughs> Most microphones like our speakers and like vice versa. Yo, I gotta get my second Pepsi. Then. I'm super thirsty. Who said you could have Pepsi? Can I send my logo? Maybe I'll just go to start my Gatorade. <laughs> Yo, like I'm uh, super. Pepsi. I'm super thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm so thirsty. Oh shit. I really wanted to get Pepsi because I had college here. I unplugged the thing. I unplugged the thing. It's back now. I don't really care. It was still recording, so it doesn't matter, right? It's just a test. Gosh, this whole thing could suck. Is this the actual thing, or is this just a test? No. It doesn't matter. I'm really tired, okay? Well, we don't have to No, I want to. So let me get my gator. Okay. <laughs> yes, it is. What are we talking about today? No, oh, I have to open it. <laughs> like, I'm really, I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> it doesn't have that much sugar. Right? Are you like trying to save it for? I don't know, maybe. Like I'll drink all of it now. I'll put it in your fridge. Come on, have some nice carbonated water, glucose, fructose. Sugar, caramel, See, color. it's like acid. It's, acid. <laughs> it's literally it's has acid, acid in it. And Yo, flavor. if they put like some, have some of that, if they put like present, call me, call me a, a like that thirty-five year old hipster vegan. But like they, like if they put like percent daily value of sugar on pop cans, like people wouldn't drink pop. <laughs> like. It's in. It's on here, though. No, it's not. Look sugar, at the sugar. It's 20, 26 grams. What's your percent daily value? It doesn't say that. Exactly. <laughs> because 26... Because you only need... Get this. It's this 9% is, percent of my carbohydrates. This is if you're... If you're... So if I drink 10 of these, <laughs> I'll have my... I'll have all the car- carbohydrates wow. that I need. Oh, that is some good stuff. <laughs> oh, I haven't had cater in a while. It's been like a week, maybe. So... Oh. Well, do you really need... Sugar per day? No, you don't. You don't actually need I mean, you sugar. Get, like, carbs and stuff, right? Yeah, um, you don't actually need sugar. But so your body, your body, your ma- like your body's limit. <laughs> like if you're an adult male, is thirty seven grams. Thirty seven? That's not possible. Because I'm drinking more. This is a tiny Pepsi. I know. It's only 20, 26 grams. I know, but what I'm saying is that's like that's like, any more than that is unhealthy. Oh, it, oh okay. That makes sense. So, like, Mountain Dew has, like, 43 grams of sugar. Oh, That's shit. 116% <laughs> of, like, your daily, like... And, like, the, the big Mountain Dews have, like, 77 grams of sugar. So, I was just like, why don't you just, like, you're, you're killing yourself. Like, yes. you're the big, those big Powerades, though, big Power well just yeah. eat sugar. Straight. Like, I'm really, like, I'm really impressed because, like, big Powerade, big Powerade like, 710 mil of Powerade only has 40 grams. And like that's oh, that's like the, the big ones, right? That's the seven ten, right? Yeah, this yeah. is this is a How this is a seven ten. This is this, this is fourteen because this right, is it's, Gatorade. It's Gatoroid. It's, it's Gatoroid. <laughs> that was a bad thing. Gator- oh yeah, Gatoroid versus uh, <laughs> all this stuff out of way. No, like, it was like Python. It was Gator- Mega Python. Mega Python, Mega Python versus Gatoroid. I don't I don't recommend that movie. No, I guess. I give it the worst worst movie. Yeah, it's out of seven. It's, it's only one of the. It's one of those like so bad it's good, but like. It's, 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 it's one you can definitely skip. You know? Yeah. Well, the only ones of those you really need to watch is like Plan 9 from Out of Space, I'd say. Batman like, and Robin. Batman and Robin, if you like Batman. If you, if you don't like Batman, Batman, there's nothing for you. No. You can, yeah. Um, you get to see how everything goes. Like, what else is like, what else is like terrible? Uh, so terrible. Movies. I don't know. Yeah. I think of a good one. I think it's the first nothing cast recording at your, your college. Yeah, it's uh, true, which is oh, kind of weird. Nothing cast oh. history. Are we going to Katie's house? Yeah. She live in a house? She lives in an apartment with uh, Nathan. Yes. Legit? Yeah. You're going to bleep that out, right? <laughs> I'm going to bleep that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you did before. Because we just call him Nathan. I hope he listens to This is the mysterious us. Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> He's the mysterious. Well, Hopefully we'll get him I have, I have a different friend, Nathan. We'll get him on the podcast sometime. Yeah. Right? Yo, that'd be good. We yeah. should get Ali at some point, too. Yeah. We Maybe yeah. we can do one after the shoot today. Or tomorrow. We'll see. Tomorrow. tomorrow. We'll see. We'll tomorrow see. Tomorrow will be. We'll be today in about three hours. We'll so. see how tired we are after the shoot. Yeah. Because, like, the first couple days, we were, like, we were, like, dead after the shoot. So. Why? Because we were it was just, like, super tiring. Because we were just, like, standing up I all day. Like I'm holding up boom mic. <laughs> I feel like I'm already dead. <laughs> I'm definitely going to yeah, screw up a lot of stuff because I'm not a professional actor, right? So we got, like, 25. I'm going to try to go fast, though. So we got 25. Got to go fast. So we got, like, 25 shots, right? 25 shots, yeah. So I'm just going to. 
Yo, this is nothing cast based, but it's just an extended edition of the vlog. It's just an extended of the vlog. You basically. can watch the vlog I'll, before the nothing cast yeah. and they tie I'll into link, each other. I'll At the end of the nothing cast, Bruce Willis is sitting at a table <laughs> slurping coffee, <laughs> <laughs> saying, <laughs> Mr. Glass. <laughs> yeah, this, this nothing cast is going to tie into a vlog that came out six months ago. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, I don't know Gee. how many. It's probably, I'm going to guess three months. It's probably like three months. I guess three months. Because where are you right now with your posting? With, um, with the Nothing Cast, the yeah. next one that should come out is the... Um, should come out? This is up to you. you realize that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I just mean the next one in order in chronological is the, uh, is the um, Force Awakens commentary, commentary track. track. Yeah. Um, and I've just been busy with shooting. So, yeah. so I haven't been able to do and that you still have and the, you still have the link to the, the angst yeah, video yeah, I sent you. Yeah. I should have that somewhere. So I, that if not, I'll, I'll just ask for you at the beginning. Yeah, I can I'll again. send it to you again. Um, so I'm going to share it, but like, we're really easy. <laughs> yeah, so like, I don't know how many episodes behind that is from this one, but like, you can tell that it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, especially when we're talking about stuff. It's like, you know, real cool, it's a fashion movie after, yeah. and it's like, yo, it's like March, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Get so, a little late, news. guys. <laughs> You're a little slow. <laughs> yeah. Slow. Yeah, if, 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 like, I didn't have school, and you didn't have school, and you didn't have, like, jobs either, and we I, were just I, doing I a podcast. I don't have could, a job. Well, I mean, like, you, you said we were out of, you said I meant, like, a job. if I'm out of school, like, I'm hoping that I would probably have some kind of job to sustain yeah. me. Cause, like, You're, you don't want to live at home the rest of your life? No. no. Oh, I don't. I, I just mean that. Just, that was just a question. Oh, okay. No, like a, <laughs> like a sarcastic, like oh, who's living? Well, I mean, like, I know lots the of, most appealing thing. Like, I know <laughs> lots of people that live at home, like while they're in school, because like um, either like yeah. Felipe, Felipe lives at you home. Technically, you technically, you home, technically so. still live at home. Just like, I pretty much do, just, just but I just I only school. live there um, two months at the end of spring, three weeks during Christmas, a week during February, and then like some a couple weeks in the summer depending on when i'm not at camp <laughs> yeah. you know yeah so camp. It's, it's like a, it's like a weird because it's, it's weird for me because i'm never in one place for like a, for a whole year does it, you know? does you, do you have attachment issues no your, i that doesn't i don't i don't mind that at all like because oh, okay. like that that home that, the house that we live in now that's always gonna be kind of yeah like, like that's that, that's always home to me like whenever yeah. i whenever i end up back there it's like okay, I'm back home. Like that's what it's like. Status quo. Cool. Like this, that's how I feel. This is this room doesn't really feel like home to me. You know? Like yeah. I, I'm fine living here, but, but it's just like this is just your holding place. For yeah, it's here. just like um, it's like it, it, it definitely feels like temporary. So I exist you know? in this wasteland. <laughs> this I exist in this wasteland. I and I don't think that it's helping any day. So, so you agree with me that Mad Max Fury Road is the greatest film of 2015, right? Yeah. <laughs> What other movies came out that year? Uh, Star Wars. The Revenant. The Revenant or something. Yeah. I still haven't seen that, and I own it. You gotta see that. <laughs> Dude. Yeah? Just for the tracking shot at the okay, beginning. Fair, alone. fair. Like, imagine... Right, one like, day when I'm, like, not... Doing okay, anything. imagine saving Private Ryan yeah. in a forest, but it's directed by Alejandro Gonzalez. <laughs> and, <laughs> and instead of Germans, it's natives. Okay, that sounds good. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I know right. the whole movie isn't the tracking shot, but like, just the... See, the... <laughs> this is, I hang out with film people too much, right? Yeah. Was, was, I'm in a film program. Yeah. So like, all the I hang out with the like, movies all Oh, you know, uh, fucking The Revenant, what an overrated film, you know? Like, oh, it's just... Oh, this it's is... good. <laughs> Yo, watch it. Oh, it's, 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 it's freaking fantastic. It's shot all in natural light. Yeah, like, that's, that's really impressive. Is like well, natural I find it difficult to shoot in unnatural light. <laughs> like it's harder to shoot in unnatural light. That's why the only thing with natural light is you have to do everything. When the Either you have off. to wait for there to be it to be a cloudy day for it so that you can get consistent lighting, consistent lighting. Yeah. Or it's like you have like a couple hours in the day and it's like now the lighting. And then if you don't get that scene, then you gotta wait till the next day. The lighting's different now, right? Yeah. No, Revenant should have been best picture for this. But they, yeah. they always would they it. would they give it to you spotlight because they, oh, the, right. they, the, they pick the political ones right yeah generally they pick the political yeah. ones because did you, you see did you see that scare the I didn't I didn't see I didn't watch the Oscars I don't if you watch it, it, it was, but I it but I really heard real. about it and I was like and and then I watched like um I watched like the screen junkies like recap of the Oscars yeah. and like they showed like their live stream of the Oscars and they all like went fucking nuts when um. Because it was what happened was um, I was there you were there yeah I know what happened I saw what happened so what happened is that. The guy, 
he's kind of old, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't actually know who he is, but he's famous, apparently. So anyways, <laughs> this kind of old guy, he opens up the thing, and he looks kind of, like, confused. Yeah. And then he looks, like... Nervously, like like hide the pain, Harold kind of <laughs> yeah. nervous, yeah. over at like the co his co uh, presenter or whatever, uh, and then he shows it to her, and yeah. then she's like La La Land, and then right. so then everyone's like oh right, and then they're like and then the the voiceover like oh this is the second one, right the for third the, domination, they, they start playing the La La Land, they start playing the La La music, yeah. and then yeah, and then um <laughs> and then uh uh so the guy goes like the like it's not oh, Damien yeah. Chazelle, it's like one of the other people. Like, it wasn't the He's like one of the writers or something. Oh, okay. David Chazelle to the back. Right. It's yeah. one of the writers or something. He's like, oh, I want to thank the everyone and the, the everything for this. Yeah, yeah. He gets through like most of them acceptance. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> then the guy out of nowhere comes up. And he's like, oh, sorry, everyone. Uh, the best. Best picture of the year is actually Moonlight. <laughs> the guy's like, like really, he's like, no, this is not a joke. Like, it's actually Moonlight. And it's like, look. And then, like, they hand him yeah. the envelope and he opens up and it says, Best picture of Moonlight. And yeah. everyone's like, oh my gosh. Like, that's, like, unreal, right? No, it's, so it's true. like So, like, so I'm just like, what, what even happened? Right? Some, <laughs> the guy, some of the guy doing his acceptance speech for this thing, what a guy. Because he's just like, he's like, he's like, okay, and I am honored to give this to uh, the people yeah, from Moonlight because that's a great movie and stuff. And yeah, it's just yeah. Like, it's like right oh, away. It's or, like, that would like suck. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> no, like the look on David Giselle's face was like the, like the most like heartbreaking thing. I'm just like, I'm like, well, like at least he got the directing Oscar, right? So I mean, like, it's not like he's Oscar list, but like imagine like that's just like super like, yeah, that's so funny. You done, you done goofed Oscars. Like, <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah, so the guy, like, apparently that's never ever happened before, yeah. like, for any award or anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the guy, the guy who, um, who had the envelope He's right. like, okay, so this is why I wasn't nervously looking because I thought it would be funny. Uh, the envelope I, I had said, "Best Actress right. Gwen." Uh, what the fuck? Right. I am so tired. It's Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Gwen, I was gonna say Gwen, Gwen Stacy, Stacy, but she's Emma Stone. Em, the best actress is <laughs> Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy. No, it's a bank. Then Bryce it's Dallas Howard gets up. <laughs> and then it's like for Amazing Spider Man. Then she's like, oh, and fuck. So, no, so it says Emma. No, so it says Emma Stone. It said Emma Stone, best actress, uh, La La Land. But that was the best picture one. Right, so yeah. the guy's like, he's, like, he's just like, uh, 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 so he gives it to wrong. his person. So the girl looks uh, down and she sees, she's, she looks down she and she, she, she just sees, yeah. she just sees La La Land and then she says La La Land. Right, yeah. Right? So in that one, I'm just like, oh, that's not really like them to do that. You know, I thought Moonlight was going to win Best Picture because they always do the political. Right. Because I, to, I bet yeah. that Moonlight would win. I actually thought La La Land would win. I called because... Moonlight winning Best Adapted oh, yeah. Screenplay. Because they, because oh, yeah, yeah. they tend to do that. They'll give the best picture for the last like four years has won right, it's, nothing but screenplay and best picture. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, yeah, they give because they give they give they'll give one of them like six. Like Mad Max, they gave six. Gravity, they gave seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, La La Land, they gave six. Uh, but the best picture will not be. Yeah, the, it's like they the can't. Produ- ever... It will not be the production. It will not be the productive. Like, because <sighs> overall, those movies production wise mm-hmm. are like astounding for the times that yeah. they come yeah, out. Exactly. In. Lala and, and maybe, like, maybe, La La maybe not as much as like Gravity it's, and Mad It Max. kind of bugs me because it's, like, it's like they think that yeah, it's like Lala and definitely isn't a new concept like, but Mad Max and Gravity like those were insane. Yeah. And everything was but on like, point. But like they're so produ- like production like, wise they're like on point production. but they're not political so they're not going to win Best yeah, Picture yeah. because That's the right. Best Picture has to be the one that makes the biggest political statement that year. Right, right. And Moonlight came Moonlight out in a year because it tackled everything that like the president sort of like stands for. So I mean yeah, it's, it's 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 everything that that, that the liberals like. So. Yeah, <laughs> it's like he's not only is he black, but he's gay. Like they just had to add that extra layer yeah. to it. Well, apparently like, it's the guy I've who wrote it. The guy who wrote it is like based on his own life. That's that's so, I'm I'm not saying like, it's not really good. Yeah, it, did you see it? No, I oh I I didn't. I want well, I want to see. No, it. I want to see too. I'm, yeah. I'm sure it's really good. I saw a trailer. I remember seeing a trailer for it. I'm like, this is gonna win. <laughs> yeah, like like when we're seeing a rival. I love that poster too. Like it's just a oh, the one where it's it's, it's like the, the split it's the three, decades, three different yeah. um, actors like playing. In the film. Yeah, like kinda it's hurt. just a sick looking poster. Yeah, kind of hurts my face somewhat though. <clears throat> what? Well, I'm just tired right now. But anyways, like that one kind of like I find it hard to look at because I'll just see it all as the first face. I, I find it hard to like separate. Oh, them. Except, well, I just like how it looks. Yeah, it looks, mean, it like, looks really with, cool. With the though. lighting differences and stuff like that. Yeah, the, the moon the moon lighting difference. Moon lighting. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'm trying to think. If I saw anything that was. I guess I saw Arrival, and that was it. That was the only thing that I saw that was nominated for I like saw, Best Picture. I saw Arrival. <coughs> I saw one more. I saw a lot of them. I saw a lot of them. 
<laughs> that was good. I was just gonna say La La Land because La La Land, like, like when you, know, you know when you have like a tie, in like, or it's like, like, a, like, like when you have a slur in music, but there's like yeah. these two notes that are the same. Yeah, yeah. So what do you do? You what do you play, do then? You just, you just play, play it. You just play it. You just play like a half note instead of the yeah. two chords. So, like, what, 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 <laughs> so what real musicians would say is. You play, you just play the legato. What I say is, eh. <laughs> <laughs> how long have we been going? <laughs> Only like sixteen minutes. Are you sure you can last a full? I don't know. Cast? I don't know. I'll be fine. I mean, <laughs> okay. It's just whatever, right? <laughs> this one might be a little bit shorter. Yeah. I mean, we could, we could, <laughs> we could end it like whatever, right? Do we, do we want to watch Dogma tonight, or do we want to... It's up to you, man. Okay. Well, how it's long like, is it? It's like two hours. It's like two hours. Oh, that might be a little long. <laughs> yeah. I kind of... I'm getting a little sick of... I kind of Movies! Like... This isn't the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. You're it is the movie. Here, but... <laughs> it is the movie. Never mind. Because <laughs> this one's got Buddy Christ on it. <laughs> it says movies on it. I'm not crazy. Yeah, no, that's part. Don't worry, that's part of the okay, story. Okay, well, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't hoping the case expecting. So I'm watching Dogma, not movies, right? You got this from how beat goes on, so it's not like a like. It's like if there's yeah. a if there's a wrong movie in here. It's like oh, that makes sense. No, like, like when you buy. Two, I like, I seen I <laughs> saw this um this case like this edition before. Yeah. And so, like, I opened it up, and I'm like, what the hell is this? But then when you actually see <laughs> movies, when you actually see the movie, then, then it makes sense. <laughs> movies. <laughs> is that the restaurant from, like, uh, Clerks? Uh, the second one? Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's movies. They work at movies Ooh, as the second Clerks. That's, like, that's great. Yeah. That's great continuity right there. Kevin okay, mm-hmm. Smith, all about that continuity. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's weird? <laughs> what? I watched uh, Scream 3 because I heard that Jane and Silent Bob are in it. And yeah. they are. They make a cameo for like four seconds. So it's part of the, the, the So Kevin I guess Smith it's part of the Kevin universe. Smith universe. Is the Scream wait, 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 universe. Wait, what year did Scream come out? Like the 90s. Three. Three the third out. one was like 99 or like 2000, 2001, something around that time. They psychoed very more in Scream, the first one. Yeah, yeah, which was kind of cool. Yeah. The first one I liked. The third one was not good. <laughs> like it was, it was okay. But it was like basically yeah. a Scooby Doo. First one was fine. I mean, like it's, really it's got like, some good moments, it's got some but good moments, it kind of um, like it's like it's like part of it. The thing is that like a lot of it's, it's like it's I'm a different aware. I'm a different horror movie, and then sometimes it's like no, you're not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. My, the worst part of that one, I think, is yeah. when the guy, when the main guy, who's like her boyfriend, yeah, is like, she's like, what? Why are you evil? And he's like, maybe I'm just evil for no reason. Maybe I'm just a fucking psychopath. Norman Bates didn't have a fucking Motivation. It's like the Joker. The Joker doesn't have a motive. It doesn't have a motive. Maybe I'm just a fucking crazy person, and it, that's the most interesting villain. Just some people are just fucking crazy. Yeah. Or maybe, and then he says his whole like, "Your mm. mom was mm. mean to my mom, or something, and now I'm mm. evil." Because his father will fire your father, <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> you, "Are you kidding me? Why would you fucking do that?" Yeah. And I you know, know who's like that. great in that one. Ooh, the guy who played Shaggy, Shaggy from mm-hmm. Scooby Doo, and he didn't have a fucking motivation or anything. No. He was just a fucking yeah, psycho, because and he was hilarious and amazing. Shaggy, that Shaggy from that Scooby Doo, but then that, that movie. guy is just like a nothing now. And then and then yeah. Fran Kranz, who's basically Shaggy, was in Cabin in the Woods, which is like another like self aware. Yeah, movie. but like way better. Way oh my gosh, <laughs> like Cabin in the Woods is just oh uh, I can't get over how good it is. Oh, I love a lot it. like there's some people like it's definitely not for everyone though. Like, no, like it, not not only from IMDb reviews, but just from people, like, just from normies. Even like, normies, true, normies, like, that was dumb. It was just a thing. It was just a thing. Like, it like, wasn't... What the hell? The world out of it? wasn't... It wasn't... Yeah, a, it was no, no. It was like, oh, it wasn't a real... It wasn't a... What's... Oh, it was dumb. They just didn't like... They just didn't like yeah. the... They weren't on board with the premise. The idea, yeah. That's the idea... Kind of, and yeah, like, it's... I guess it's just, like... It's it's anymore. too meta for some people, I it's think. It's true. That's fair. One thing it's, I do find It's weird. definitely a giant what if, also. The... The... Because yeah, because Cabin in the Woods is essentially trying to be an origin slash ending story for all for horror all movies. Horror movies? Yeah. yeah, it's true, and like it's kind of like you can't really like what do you do with the horror genre after that? You know, yeah, you have you, to do something like completely different. You can't. So I mean, it's, that's it's kind of hard. Is Cabin in the Woods the best horror movie of all time, or are there better ones? Like, because I there's think there's probably better ones. Like, like I haven't seen. What about like the thing? The thing is pretty good. Yeah. Um. Okay. 
pick me. So yeah. you know how uh, in the thing, there's like the one part where the guy. I honestly thought this was like like this actually freaked me out so much, which is great when a movie can do that. Mm-hmm. When the guy is gonna defibrillate the other guy, and his hands go straight through his chest, oh, yeah, and they cut scene, off his yeah. arms. Like you told me that um, you were yeah. saying that that guy that they got like a stunt double who was actually missing arms. Yeah, there's an amputee with missing arms. Yeah, and. And um, they attached. They, they had, so they had like fake prosthetic arms onto his arms. His they arm could cut like his stubs, so they could cut off. So them. they could like chop them up and like uh, and bleed blood, them. Yeah. And then they got a like prosthetic makeup face. Yeah. Like to, of the regular actor, and they yeah. put it on the guy with no arms. Yeah. So they looked like the regular guy. <laughs> had no arm. Shot. Yeah. So in um, like oh like that's so, so why you, how yeah. would you think of that? Like, I know it's it's, it's so brilliant. It. Uh. But I mean, I definitely want to watch the thing again without falling asleep in the middle. So, yeah, that's fair. So, uh, no, yeah, so it's, the, a, it's yeah. a little slow in some parts, yeah. I think. But it's not a good movie. I, I feel pretty. like there's like, there's definitely... The like special a, effects are like so good. Oh, I know. That's, oh. What, that's what you gotta like, gotta mm-hmm. watch it for. Yeah. Now. Oh, is it? There's a... Uh, so I just watched the the last two of... Like the second last episode of Breaking Bad I watched. Yeah, it's, which one was that? It's the one where the two brothers go to kill Hank at the end. Yeah. It's so good. So intense. That is so. That's so that. amazing. And like how like how like the one like the guy like gives him the the free bullet, and he's just oh, like yeah, ah yeah. whatever, right? Yeah, and then yeah. he drops it, and that's what Hank uses to kill him. And it's just like all that like irony stuff, or it's like or, beautiful. Oh, and it's so good. But like the episode after, the one guy like gets his legs has to get his legs removed because he got hit because he got smashed between two cars by right, Hank yeah, in yeah. the beginning. And when he like gets out of the bed and is like crawling towards the yeah, yeah, yeah. the the wall because he sees Walt, so he's crawling towards right, the right, window. Yeah. Uh, like they have like a shot of like the guy crawling and like on his stubs, and it doesn't look like it doesn't look like. Uh, oh yeah, no, it doesn't. It look looks, looks practical. practical. It looks like um, it doesn't look like a, a Forrest Gump, like, like Lieutenant like Lieutenant CGI Dan, where it's where it's CGI. Lens. That actually looks really good, Forrest Gump. Oh yeah, yeah. But like, so you, there's so you a different it works when you like take out stuff yeah. really well. Like it's, it's like yeah, but like it's, it's, it's like yeah. a different. But like because like they had the bandages like on the ends of the nubs, right? Yeah, and so like they're like, like partially bleeding and stuff. Yeah, it's just like it's, oh my gosh, so good. And like the part where the guy like dies or whatever because the polos the chicken man comes and he gives chicken to all the cops or whatever <laughs> yeah, and then he yeah. talks with Walt he's like yo you, I just do what you do dude yeah. just just don't let's just be cool and then <laughs> and then he walks away right yeah. and then like. And then he's like, oh, that guy's going to die. And then he's like, what? And then, like, he freaking just, like, dude, like, goes into cardiac arrest. Like, the mm-hmm. one brother or whatever goes into cardiac He's gone. Yeah. And then you see Mr., like, the fixer just, like, put something into a, right, like, right. like a syringe into, like, a like a basket and walk away. Right, yeah, like, yeah. he's, like, in, like, just, like, in the, like, in the foreground just very quickly. Mm-hmm. And it's just, like, oh, my gosh. Like, it's just, like, it's just, like, this chicken man thing just goes so deep. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy how deep it goes. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So I even, yeah. He's such a great villain. That yeah. Guy. I haven't seen the... I haven't seen the next episode oh, yet. Yeah. That was the last yeah, one. Yeah, like that's saw. that's like a lot. Because after I saw the one where Hank like almost gets killed, I'm like, I have to yeah, watch the next, the next one. one basically, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that was like one of my favorite parts of this series. Is, like, when that <laughs> yeah, because those guys, like those those two brothers, were like, like they they were like the introduced at the beginning of the season. Right. And the yeah. first thing they do, it's like they're super weird. Like they walk out of like they'll, they'll they walk out of a car and they crawl with a bunch of other people to a random hut and they find a picture <laughs> of a random drawing of Walter White in the hut. And then, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like yeah, it's, and it's like, so mysterious. And like, like it's like and they're like and like oh and they, that was the episode where they, at the beginning they show like their backstory basically. Right, right. Of yeah. the two brothers and like they're like fighting when they're kids and stuff yeah, yeah, and the yeah. one like at like like is like mad at the other one. He's like oh I wish he was dead and then the guy. They're like uncle, like right. basically, like drowns him. And he's like, you have to stop me. And he's like, so oh, he, like yeah, kind of yeah. like teaches them about like right, you yeah. know, watch each other's backs, basically. And like, it's super weird because they don't they don't explain like why they prefer using an axe. <laughs> they just prefer using an axe. Right, like yeah. it's super. Like that's just like yeah. Because when he's got like he's got like a hank at gunpoint, and then he's like too easy. I'm like he's just gonna let him go. <laughs> like that's that's like that's like okay, I guess that's fine because you want to keep the character alive. And I really like that character. Uh-huh. I'm yeah. like oh, he's getting an axe. Yeah. Like and he's like he's just like struggling to pick up that last bullet. Oh, like, oh yeah, that's so, like, so well so played. Good. Like it's so yeah. Good. Like like my only complaint of any is like yeah. he could have just killed him there, but like <laughs> yeah, no, but like that's <laughs> but, not. But like that's but that does, fits his character. It though. does make sense because he's only like, ever he's, killed people with an axe. Brutal yeah, you know, because that's the, that because that's what they because they they mention that's like oh the Mexican yeah. cartels are like super brutal and right yeah like, they so, don't fuck around yeah 
Yeah, I get a lot of Spanish vibes from Breaking Bad. Like, the yeah, show's it's, like, it's, the show is like half Spanish. Well, it's because <laughs> it takes place in Texas, which is right on the Spanish border, right? I thought it was in New so, Mexico. Or, oh, you're right. Yeah, Albuquerque, New Mexico. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> but either way, it's right on the border. Yeah. So, like, the Spanish cartel actually has, like, a huge influence in, like, the drug trade and everything there. Yeah. So, like, that's actually, like, real. Wait, shit. is this all multiple magnets? Yeah. Yo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, have a, I have a Humber fridge magnet thing. Where it's, like, oh, oh. it's, like, one of those where you have the different words and you can make a sentence. But you didn't feel like but, it. But they're all like... Graduate. Big goals. One future. I like to... Are social <laughs> procrastination. <laughs> I like to procrastination. Yeah, I, I like think to, I did that at one point. <laughs> I like to spirit. <laughs> uh, so I don't have responsibility. <laughs> I need to have responsibility. <laughs> it sounds like you need to have grammar. <laughs> Excited to thinking about programs. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. Uh, uh, Breaking Bad's really good, and I definitely have to finish it. Um, Oh, <laughs> I am my dad. <laughs> you, you, you know what else I watched the other day? What? I watched uh, Serenity again. Oh, is that good? It's all amazing. Why do you do this? You, uh, you're like, oh, I have to do this. Sometimes this, I just this, watch, this. like... Yo, I watch just... Samurai Jack. Yo, watch Breaking Bad. Yo, I watch Serenity. Yo, I, I watch Clone Wars again. Where do you find the time for this? Like, a lot of the time, I'll just put on something like, yeah. before I go to bed. I guess you don't have like, class like, the same day. way I do, though. And exactly, that's the other thing, is I only have one class a day. Yeah. Much. Sometimes I have two yeah. classes in here. Yeah. That's what, so yeah. it's like, this, this, this is actually a lot of free time, especially since I don't have to commute anywhere. Mm-hmm. I like when I'm done with my class, it's like, well, now what do I do for the next eight hours? The next 20 hours. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Like, so, so, what is it? It's like, uh, uh, oh, I'm losing it. Uh, <laughs> I had a thought, but then it left. Just walked out the door. Okay, well, you know what's great about Serenity? Okay, what is? It has one of the greatest opening sequences ever. Because, like, you got to think about, like, Whedon's really good at this, where he's got, he's got a major motion picture that's in theaters now, and it's like, you have to introduce the world and all the characters of Serenity to people, to people who maybe don't have not seen Yeah, from where I saw, I remember they put, like, the first time I saw Serenity was in theaters for my birthday when I turned, right. like... 15, I think, or 13. It was either 13 or 14. Oh, 14 was Elysium. Yeah, they were playing in theaters. So it was was 13, I think. And anyways, like, we saw it with, like, a couple of our cousins who, like, had never seen Firefly before. Yeah, but they they, they could follow it. They could pretty much follow it. Because it sets it up so well. Yeah. And, like, oh, man. Like, everything is, like, perfectly planned in, like, that opening. Because it's, like, it starts with... I love this so much. I have to, like, break it down. Yeah. So it starts with the Universal logo, right? Yeah. Then it transitions into, like, oh, the Earth that was got you all the new resources got used up and we had to leave. That's, and like, it, one of the first times they actually show the Earth. Yeah, it's, it, which is true. And then and we had to leave it and find a new solar system. And then, so then it's, like, it gives you, like, the backstory. It's, like, of uh, colonizing all the regular history. And then we find out that this is River in yeah. school being taught this by her, like, teacher. Oh, okay. Right? And then it trans... And then, and then the one, like... And then... That's, then this transitions to like then the she's like people don't like being meddled with and then she and then the teacher's like shut the fuck up and like stabs her and then it's like turns out this is a dream because she's being like fucking experimented on in oh, the yeah. in the alliance. She's place. got the weird like needle in her face. I'm yeah, like, and then we see Simon, Simon is yeah. here and he's gonna break her out, yeah. which is great because it serves as one you, the obvious setup for the main conflict of the movie. Yeah, but also. A scene that we didn't get to see from the original series, but no. it's like, oh, this is when she, he breaks her out. This is great. I'm excited yeah. to see yeah. this, right? Yeah. To see how he did this. Yeah. So it works in like two, in two levels. So we already mm-hmm. set up the world. Yeah. Now we're introduced to this character and how they escaped. And his relationship to her, right? And his relationship I, I always hate that like in movies and stuff, they do this like all the time. Yeah, because like, like right away, okay. it's like he goes... River, it's me. It's Simon, your brother. So like, we already because like, it's super like, obvious. No, no, but like, it's it makes it, more it, sense for that context because she doesn't actually have a like a memory. Yeah, we don't know how much of her memory yeah. she has, and so yeah. he's trying to like give her the basic information yeah, in case yeah. she doesn't know like yeah, what yeah. the hell's going. Because I hate that in movies where it's like, hey there, little brother. <laughs> like you don't talk to me like that. Yeah, you're just like, true. hey Pat, you're you're a loser. <laughs> like, that's like that's most of the time when we talk to yeah. each other. Yeah, they do a little bit of that later, but like. For the most part, it's it still like feels fluid, mm-hmm. but then so then then we see they escape, and then it turns out this is actually transitions to the operative. Um, yeah, 
what's his name? Chiotel Ejiofor? Chiotel, 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 Chubutel. Mordo from Doctor Strange. Okay, Chubut Sword Guy. I called him Sword, Sword guy, guy from Serenity. Sword Guy from Serenity. Yeah. He's Chubutel watching the hologram before. of this. Yeah. Of of their escape. Oh, okay. Right? And and that's when we've set up the main conflict is she was He's she's a psychic and she heard about um uh, all the all the secrets that the top level of the government have because she yeah. could read their minds. So like we gotta so they're like we gotta find her now like basically okay and and then that that kind of that kind of like ties into up, the first and episode as, of... and then it sets up him as the as the main villain and yeah. then he kills the guy and then cuts to Serenity yeah the title and then transitions into the ship then we get that long track the title the title is on the ship because the title is on the ship that's fantastic and then we um. And then we get that long tracking shot of everyone in the ship, and yeah. all the, we get all their character names, all their roles, and like a little bit about their personality. Like he walks by Jane. Jane is holding like a bunch of guns. Like okay, he's the guy that likes guns. Yeah, <laughs> we got his. We got his. And no, no, although his personality isn't just limited to that. It's part of it. And I really like, like I love that. Like the what is it? Uh, the one episode out of gas, where they they just show how he meets everyone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great That's a episode. Great where he's just, like, dead on the floor for most of the episode. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> so good. And, like, I love that, like, how he meets Jay, and he's like, I'll pay you more than the guy who's paying yeah. you. And he's like, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Because it's just, just him and... Betray these two guys. It's right just now. him and Zoe at that point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, uh... Wait, how does, um... Uh, Wash join? Well, they're, they're like, trying to find a pilot for their ship, and, and then they just kind of, like, interview him, and then... And then Zoe's like... I don't like this guy. <laughs> oh, I love that word that, uh... He's like, yeah, we could we could probably get the ship running if we get, like, a good mechanic and stuff like that. I love that where they have the, like, the one mechanic guy or whatever, and he's sleeping with, uh, Kaylee. Yeah. And then, and then um, uh, Kaylee's like, oh, I, I, I just did all this stuff. Yeah, you just, stuff. you just fix the, whatchamacallit, then it'll... It'll, it'll make smooth. the, it'll make the rotor be... like, really? Uh, could you do that? And then she's like, yeah, you just do this. It's like, oh, okay, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the guy's and like, what? Like, what? Why would we need two mechanics? And he's like, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Whoa. Is that Allie in that video? What? Is that Allie in that video? The no. one with the drill of the car? No, that was some guy who's in my grade. <laughs> some, some guy. Uh, I think his name is Adam or something. Okay. <laughs> so I'll get to meet Allie, the, glo- the great, the great, the glorious Allie. <laughs> Hi, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> I probably met you in real life at this point. You're, you're really I'm sorry if this is weird. I'm, I'll stop. <laughs> you're really tired, man. <laughs> oh, maybe. What is it? It's like only like 10, right? Yeah. Gee, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Why does it feel like 2? <laughs> I can't. Uh, so, so, yeah. Uh, I really like Spirit. Really I haven't I really seen really it like and I think he's, he's good at like it's it's kind of amazing, like the what he manages to do with like, oh, you have to make a big budget movie and introduce all these characters and to to the general audience in case they hadn't seen the TV show, while also mm. um, providing a, a, um, a like a good finale to the show, like it's satisfying. Mm. And everything. Well, if he can do that with Serenity, what went wrong with Age of Ultron? Age of Ultron was studio meddling. No, but he. Look, he introduces you to nine different new characters. You know, Age of Ultron, he only has to introduce, like, four people. Yeah, but we get... We have to do their... See, here's the difference. Yes, do their backstory. I figured it out. We have to we have to know their origin, their backstories. Okay. In Serenity, we don't need to know anyone's backstory. We get, like... We get Rivers and, and Simons. Like, we get the basic of... She was experimented yeah. by the government and blah, blah, blah. Fun... Fun... But that's the only one that's actually important. Okay. So, I mean... The rest... But, um... The rest, we just need to know who they are. Uh-huh. And, like, a little bit about them. Okay. Something I realized about the MCU, The Incredible Hulk is the only first movie of the superheroes that's not an origin story. That might... Whoa, wait, wait. I'm trying to think. Oh, well, yeah, I guess it is. Because Spider-Man is not yet, right? Yeah. Yeah. As of right now, I mean, it is. Incredible Hulk covers the origin story. No, but it's not an origin movie. It's not an origin, not an origin movie. movie. Yeah, not an origin right. movie. The rest of them are origin that's movies. True. They become the hero at the end of it. <laughs> that's how you know it's an origin movie. Yeah, that's what that's what you know about the, the X Men, like the prequel trilogy. They become the X Men at the end of all three movie, of them. Yeah. At the end of each movie, they become an X, the X Men in a one way, shape, or form. And it's like it's like all right. So we got uh, what? Was, okay, can I? I'm I'm gonna go into like a tangent and like a set like a new Good. pitch for 
Yeah, for day, for ap- apocalypse, like on the spot. So this is what. So so first class, they're like, all right, now we're we're gonna be the X Men. <laughs> and then the next movie starts. We're not the X Men. We're, the X-Men we're all. Oh, no. oh, everyone left. And it's sad, and I'm a drug addict. Um. And then at the end of that one, they're like, "All right, we're gonna be the X Men because now I got this short list of all the top, the top tier ones." Right. Yeah. Also, I know this guy Wolverine. I'm gonna see him in like the year 2000. So I mean, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, I got a pretty good team to put together. Uh-huh. Okay, this is how you start the next one. You start the next one like freaking, like so. What you do is you have, yeah. This is because this is what I wanted to see and they didn't do, and they have no reason for not doing this. So you have freaking. So the X-Men Apocalypse starts with the last scene from X-Men Days of Future Past. So, freaking uh, Wolverine wakes up. He's like, what the fuck? Where am I? Right, and yeah. then and then Charles is just like, oh, well, I've got some uh, history to catch you up on. And then it goes, <laughs> so it's just like, oh, it's like 10 or so years after the that thing that, that yeah. happened. And then you do... You do, you know what you do? You do yeah. a new, you do an X Men recruiting sequence, right? But from, for all the 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 old, like, all the, the old line. new X Men, yeah. So like, like all, so, first so like, class, but so like for like Cyclops, Cyclops and Storm, Storm and, and, and Gene, and you do for all those ones, right? Yeah, because yeah. and he's got a short list, right? The right, piece yeah. of paper that says it's his Gene Scott and Storm, because <laughs> <laughs> those are the names he was giving. <laughs> so like, like Storm, Storm, Storm. Hey, are you are you the name Storm? No, my name's Aurora. No, maybe oh, he. Okay, no, you. <laughs> yeah. Next, next mutant. <laughs> maybe maybe it's like whoa, it's like it's maybe like they have like a like that cheesy scene. Yeah, it's like she'll she'll be. It's like oh, it's like it's like oh, look, she's like whipping up a storm, and then he's like storm, and then he like puts it together, right? Like it's like he's like a, like he's like retarded or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then the next, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, so yeah, then you do that. So then they, yeah. so then you have your team of X Men, and they're like, apocalypse yeah, you have. So you do, and then you do. So all that's out of the way, and you get like. So then you have. Uh, so that's that's all out of the way. Because I feel like the movie feels like very crowded, and if that's out of yeah. the way at the beginning, like right, first right. like ten Definitely minutes type stuff, whole... we don't need the whole thing. It's not like the first forty five yeah, minutes of Suicide Squad. It's very quick, and it it tells you everything. Like you do the whole Cyclops origin, you do the whole right, Gene yeah. origin, you do the whole thing. Like, kind of like you do the scenes, of... kind of like the beginning of uh, you do the scenes, kind of like the beginning of uh, like X Men Three, where like uh, Charles and Eric are talking to Gene. It's kind of like yeah, that, kinda like but that, you but cut them. You cut them with each other, though, where they're kind of like saying, making the same points at the same time. It's like, oh, what if I can do this? Like, you ever feel different? It's like, yeah. It's like, well, yeah, I can do this thing. I can do this thing, and like, you just like. Wait, do you still have Eric there or no? Yeah, well, Eric left, right? Did he leave? Right? He le- left. This, this. Let me get. Let me get into what okay. I'm saying. So, so you do that, right? So basically, that's out of the way. Then you have the movie, basically, the same. Okay. After that. Yeah. Yeah. So like you have. I say, I don't know if uh, Nightcrawler should be. I really like. I really like Nightcrawler. Like, we can have him there. Like, have, he just be. He also gets recruited. Yeah, also gets recruited, right? So you get Nightcrawler, right? And uh, Mystique is still kind of like a drifter, right? And like, right. she's kind of like, yeah, but she doesn't become like the new face of the X Men. She's just like, she just decides to be good at the end, right? Like that kind of thing. Yeah, like, uh, but and, but then you have but you have all the Magneto stuff stays the same. Yeah, all the Apocalypse like stuff stays the same, but him recruiting his like evil mutants when what he does is like he like awakens or whatever like i feel like they spend a lot of time on apocalypse maybe they just show him yeah so you just show him awaken and then you have uh and then maybe he sees some like so he's like he looks on tv and it's like oh these three really really dangerous mutant terrorists just broke out and you see all three of them and all three of their powers at the same time like that like shot from the avengers oh yeah 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 so then he's like so he's like oh okay and then, like, basically, he meets up with them, and he's like, "Yo, you guys, want to be freaking bad and shit?" And then he's like, "They're like, okay, sure, we'll help you destroy the world." So then, with the three of them, he goes to Magneto, and he's like, "Yo, want to uh, be yeah. bad and shit?" <laughs> and then yeah, Magneto's yeah. like, "Okay, I'm on board." Yes, yeah, so who would he get? You get like you get you get like you get like Pyro. You get like Pyro. maybe not. No, he'd be no, he'd be Pyro. he might he'd be well, too young, right? Uh, yeah, I guess he, he, but you he get wouldn't be like, born, but in the yeah, comics, he would have been right? like he would have been alive at that point but anyways you just get like you just get some like maybe like b or d list just some guys some, yeah just, there's yeah, enough just find some, there's enough evil ones you find an evil there's enough evil ones and magneto because he's lost everything he's like sure i'll just help you destroy the world then you do you have the because i feel like that just makes it way tighter because that's like the first hour i kid you not of x-men apocalypse it's just 
people talking to mutants and recruiting mutants and it's like yeah. it's just it's very tired it's, and it's, true. it's like this but is, I had more problems with the end of the movie though. The so that's what I mean is that you do you do fully you you fix all that stuff right mm -hmm. then you wrap then you like con actually conclude all the character right, arcs yeah, and okay. stuff so you conclude <laughs> Quicksilver's thing where he's like yo you're my dad and then and then Magneto does the freaking Darth Vader arc and he's yeah. like yo you're a bad apocalypse and then he stops them and then they stop the bad mutants and then the rest of the bad mutants are like yeah we want to be we're going to be evil mutants <laughs> so like they so that so that's that's the brotherhood of evil mutants right right okay and right. then we still have the wolverine scene and everything so basically a little a little less like a little less like making it up as they go along but like yeah the striker stuff like maybe striker just, has a you have striker have a scene at like the beginning and stuff like yeah oh yes yeah, so you have him like you have him like tracking like charles from like the beginning of the movie right, so like, you know, he's close he, just, he literally just shows up he just shows up like when i saw that that was like a super like surprising and stuff so i didn't know that was gonna happen i'm just like oh fuck like this is like yeah but then like doesn't have a role in the to play no. in the movie. So you just if you can have him just show up randomly at halfway through, but yeah. like he should still have a role. Yeah, he still has a role. The movie. He still has a role for the movie, know. and he's he's his thing is like like maybe he's and, and his thing is like maybe after the, all the X Men stop the maybe the humans maybe, also so all have the X Men so get this to, to yeah, yeah. so the, all the X Men are also right? so all the humans are like they're trying to like pull a first class right they're like okay yeah, there's right. like a bunch of mutants that are just ripping up a city they don't care if they're good or bad. And they yeah. got like, and they're like, okay, we're gonna send like a strike team. We're gonna stop them, right? Because yeah. X Men is ultimately about social justice, yeah, and exactly. really Apocalypse kind of lacked that. It was more That's like, true. like good mutants fighting bad. Mutants. Oh, and this, oh, there's a pyramid. Oh, it's like, <laughs> who, what is happening? What am I watching? Like, <laughs> oh look, Magneto put an X with his metal powers. <laughs> that was, I guess that was cool, but like, it's just like, who cares, right? Like, it's like, oh look, look, machine is uh, cartoon physics. It's like, like oh, look, there's Hugh Jackman for five seconds. <laughs> yeah. No, Maybe he likes yeah. Gene now or something. Who knows? You do like so you have you have Striker being a consistent part of the movie. So what you do is yeah. you have you have the throwdown with the good mutants and the bad mutants. Magneto turns good, but he still like leaves them, right? He's still like I'm a criminal, but like right, yeah. I'm gonna not be bad anymore. So okay, he leaves yeah. them. Uh, but you have what you do is you have all the you have all the military guys basically after they stop all the they kill apocalypse, right? And then all these military guys swoop in. They're like, Stop, you guys are all under arrest because you're mutants and we really don't like you. Yeah. And then and then Charles or someone or I don't know, you could maybe maybe Mystique, I don't know, because she's <laughs> Jeffrey Lawrence is <laughs> the X Men. Movie. Maybe X -Men you know, maybe you give this speech to someone else. Basically they're just they'd say something like, Look, we just saved the day, you know. That's what we're all about, you know. Me and my academy, I'm gonna I'm teach them to train their user powers. I'm trying to avoid, you know, bad guys and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And then the guy's like, Oh what what uh he's like He's like, oh, it's like, uh, and then you have oh, like, man. I totally forget what's the line. You have, you have some clever line about like, I guess you'll like, it's like, it's like, oh, it's like, how do you, it's like how we know you won't turn on us. It's like, oh, it's like, you it's like, he's like yeah, it's like that. Or so it's like, it's like, I know we're going to turn on us. Like you don't. And then it's like, but like, Hey, we haven't yet. Right. So like, <laughs> yeah, but so, around, but we've been so, around for 30 years now. We haven't. So. We haven't. So, I mean, and then like, and then he walks away and then the, and then the striker's just kind of like, Oh, maybe yeah, maybe he's got a point. Yeah, let's go, guys. Like, uh, but Striker's the guy who would like never learn. Though. Yeah, but maybe <laughs> yeah, but maybe they like, but maybe he's like, ah, oh, screw you, and then like they like all get teleported away from like maybe Nightcrawler teleports all the X Men away, right? Yeah. Like and then like as like Striker's about to like open fire on one of them, right? Yeah. It, but it's yeah, just so Striker they, though. The other guys right. are like, yo, that's like they actually. Yeah, that's fair. They, so then, they didn't so stop then, that evil guy. So I mean, I like, can't really. Fall so then it's that. like. Because that way, because so. that's, because it's not like at the end of it, it's like, oh, they're the X-Men now. It's like, no, they were the X-Men. This is right. just an X-Men story. Yeah, it was just and the it's, it's for their, story. Yeah, and then, and then, and then at the end, it's like, oh, and that's how we got, that's how we uh, were the X-Men. We're the X-Men. <laughs> and it's like, oh, now we're the, and then it's like, we're still, and we're still the X-Men. And, <laughs> and that's like, and that's why, and that's why you have gray hair. And, that, and it's like, and that's why you have your metal claws. And then it's like, and it's like oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, like, I. Also in there, there should be a line where where Mystique's like, "Yeah, I tried to rescue Wolverine, but then this happened." And then it like flashes back to her. He's like, like "Yeah, I'm yeah, style. just just, uh, just take uh, Wolverine out yeah, of the facility. Just uh, take him out this way." And then like Striker also walk like the real Striker yeah, walks her in the yeah. room, and she's like as Striker, and then she's like, uh, 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 "Look over there!" And then she just like runs away, yeah. <laughs> or it's like some shit where. Yeah. And then he's like, "Oh, I'm the real striker, and now I have Wolverine. Now I'm gonna put yeah. metal claws in him." Yeah, and then you have that as part of the end of Days of Future Past scene, I guess. Because what you do is you have so you have that scene. Because like, so you, you have that scene. That you have to that. So what you do is you have that scene as the first scene of the movie. Oh, okay. Then you cut to Wolverine. You zoom in on his face into his brain, and it cuts into the future. 
And then you cut, and then it's the end of, and it's the end of, uh, and it's the end of Days of Future Past, and then he asks, asks Mr. Professor X the question, and the professor's like, well, I've got a story for you. <laughs> yeah, so that's what yeah, that's it. Like, I just, like, I just, like, it's just, I know it's not, I feel like it's not perfect, but, like, those are yeah, a lot, yeah, it's like, a, that fixes most of the problem. It's like, it's just like, there's a lot of good ideas there, and I mean, that <clears> keeps <throat> all the good scenes, like, the Quicksilver scene is still part of the movie, the Quicksilver yeah, thing is still, because I feel like the Quicksilver arc feels less of, like, an outlier, because when you take out a tally of all the character arcs in, in uh, X-Men Apocalypse that they try to do, they try to give one to, um, Mystique, Quicksilver, Quicksilver, Cyclops, Jean, uh, Xavier, Xavier, Nightcrawler's just kind of there. Nico, yeah, uh, Nightcrawler's just uh, there. Magneto. Magneto. Apocalypse, sort of. Yeah. Did Rose Byrne get an arc? I don't think so. You know, she, she, got, she got a remembering arc yeah. where she forgot something and then she was forced to remember it. That was, that was <laughs> That's the extent of her. <laughs> yeah. Power. I mean, like, Rose Byrne is still the worst. In the She's still the worst in those movies. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, you know, you make the reason that Apocalypse comes back, not Rose Byrne. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> hey. So I mean that fixes most of the problems, and it's more of like what X Men is actually about. Yeah, right? and it's, it's, it's true. More that, like, it's not. It's not. They're not just about stopping. Yeah. So I mean, and, I know, I, know I borrow from First Class a lot, but First Class is really good. But first Class is one you of the best. Borrow it from movies. it what you need to like, because yeah. when something is good, you just do it again. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't, it ain't fix, broke, it. don't like, fix it. Like Star Wars: The Force Awakens. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like, would you want to see an X Men movie where they like they just go to space for a movie like they're not even on? That would be but, freaking sick. I think that'd be pretty cool. If, I think it would be really you got cool. Matthew Vaughn directing though. His Brian Singer would, is kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, it. like yeah. He's yeah. like these are my X Men. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna make the third X Men origin story in a row. It's just like like Matthew. I'm gonna make everything movie. reference to the movies that I that I made that I you think, liked. I know I know Brian Singer did the Usual Suspects, but I think Matthew Vaughn is a better director. Like, mm. yeah, did you see the Usual Suspects? I fell asleep. That was back oh, when I okay. fell asleep during movies. Like, yeah, I did that like until I was like fourteen. Like, so I mean, every movie I watched before I was fifteen, I would have fallen asleep during. <laughs> I said this before, but my 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 main problem with the Usual Suspects was, ooh, what a twist! It was one of the Usual Suspects. Well, you said it was done in a cool way, though. It was done in a cool way. It was done in a very Brian Singer way. Like, what? you like? You can tell like he's kind of. He basically is he's playing, snickering behind he's the curtain, trying to do that ending for each movie. Like it's not even if it <laughs> does. Even does if it's not does Kevin Spacey's eyes flash yellow at the end? <laughs> 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 but like, yeah, I think it'd be cool if they do a uh, one where they're just in space and like, but you still have social justice stuff because like that's the core of the story. But it like is dealing, but they're dealing with like alien species, like. Maybe maybe aliens are racist <laughs> to them. Maybe aliens are still <laughs> racist to them. Not because they're like mutants, but just because they're they're aliens on another planet yeah. or something. I don't know. Like you could do you, you could have, do no because that's what the bad. I just are there I just want right? to see something like totally different from like the regular movies. Yeah. Because you know? like you could do the Phoenix Saga in space, like it, entirely in space. Yeah, and that'd, be, and that'd be cool. I remember, yeah, because I was watching. I was no, I was reading some of uh, Astonishing X Men. Oh yeah, and that yeah. shit's real good because that's Whedon. Yeah, and that's uh, that's, that's in space. That's in space. Yeah, like most of it's in space. So yeah. it, it, it it's still really works great. And um, is that the one where Cyclops is a dick? Yeah, Cyclops is <laughs> kind of a dick in that one. But I think that that but, uh, but it kind of like gives him more of a character. Though, yeah, he's, he's way more. He's it's like one of it's like one of the best written Cyclops is, like I've seen. At least. Yeah, because a lot of this because Cyclops, what is he's what also is he? like a in X Men One. What is he like? He's nothing exactly. So I mean, <laughs> it's James Morrison. <laughs> he's James Morrison. He's in X Two. He's team. Oh, 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 gee, yeah. gee, okay, you got that? You got that flame on your face? Let me just shoot that off. Oh, gee, don't, don't die! Ah, ah. Yeah. Isn't that James Morrison's in the Notebook? He plays James Morrison, <laughs> <laughs> the guy getting in the way of the hero's love. Uh, <laughs> that that's his just that's his role. That's his typecast. That's what he is in uh, in fucking uh, in Superman Returns, Returns and in uh, Enchanted and, as well, and and X Men. Yeah. And sort of in Westworld, really, in a way, like so you, from a and, from, and from a certain book. point of view. From a certain point of view, if you're like that's reading, bull. I love I love how it's like it's like oh, what I told you was true from a certain point of view. I love how like most audience members would be like that's bull, and so Luke's like that's bull. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he does. He's like from a certain point of view. <laughs> You're just You're making ridiculous. up nonsense. <laughs> it sounds like you made up that twist on the spot. Like, it kind of did. <laughs> yeah, well, we didn't really figure that one over. <laughs> we just thought it would be cool, you know. 
kind of cool. I mean, it is cool, but I mean, I think the Voldemort, anal- Voldemort analogy is the only way you can translate it to a modern audience. Well, the, how the, impactful that would have been. The, um... The, the Darth Vader twist. The Darth Vader Because it's common it. knowledge, but if it wasn't, like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. And that's because if you hear that, oh, James and Lily Potter were, were Harry's parents, and there's this okay. other guy, Voldemort, who killed them, <laughs> you, you 100% are in, and uh-huh. you, and but you never see James Potter get struck down by the... That's true. That's true. That's interesting. I never thought of it, because I was literally just going to say, well, I think the difference is we actually do see flashbacks of them. No, no we you, see, only, you see, you we see flashbacks see of James flash- Potter tormenting Snape. You never see a flashback of James Potter and Voldemort and Tom Riddle in the same room. No, that's true. And we, I know you found out. I know see, you find out more about Tom Riddle in the second one, and that kind of ruins. Like, and if you want yeah, to do that franchise, like that as your twist, it kind of ruins it. Yeah, like it that. wouldn't. Like it obviously, that's, that's not. J- what that's not what J.K. Because, Rowling's role goal was. Yeah. But it could have been. It could have been if, it if be. it, like if it turned out to be that. Like, yeah. That would have been actually pretty solid. Yeah. pretty awesome. Even yeah. though it would have been just. The, it would have been the Star Wars twist, but, but that's uh, that's what it was for the time. Yeah, exactly. And like that's that's a good point is that we never actually see yeah. James get killed. We always we only see flashbacks of Lily getting killed. Yeah. But like what if it turned out like it was James was just like oh, I'm Voldemort. <laughs> I'm gonna kill my son now. <laughs> like it's it's like it's whoa, what, what the does. fuck? Vader exactly. does that, like exactly, right? Yeah, that's that's why that's, that's why, why it's such a good twist. twist. <laughs> it's such a good twist. Because that's that's the thing is that like ever since like I like I feel like did plot twists in movies start because of Empire? In the mainstream, yes, because there's other movies that have plot twists, like yeah. older movies, like Planet of the Apes. That was that movie. That's actually, a good twist. That's yeah. a good twist as well. And that was like decades. It seems before. super obvious if you know it. Decades though. before, yeah, it, it does. It's it's true. Um, it's but, a really, it's a really but cool. It's, but it, like, no, but Planet of the Apes, the first is, one is actually a really good movie. Yeah. It's, it's a really cool, like, political commentary on discrimination and like, mm-hmm. just and almost like animal cruelty, but just racism in general. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, and, and it's also like a, it's, like a, it's also hey, a sci-fi movie. What right? if this was a role reversed? Oh boy, a uh, uh, b- a bing, a bo- a b- oh, <laughs> that's what it's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, and also like, um. Planet of the Apes is more sci-fi than fantasy. Yeah. Where, like, fantasy can, can be accessible to, to more people because it's it's more of a general, like, like your yeah. basic storytelling kind of general, ideas. Your basic storytelling kind of ideas. Sci-fi yeah. is, um, can, will have, like, it'll be more about, like, asking a question or, like, yeah. uh, analyzing a, yeah. a piece of humanity. <laughs> Sorry, you pointed this out to me. Or, or you, it'll be, like, super you know dark. You know what you said? You know what you said? Like you said this to me once, and I think it's, like, almost... 100%, if not 95% true. <laughs> what? Which is that Star Wars is, like, the only sci-fi that doesn't take place in our universe. Like, on Earth, at least. Like It's one of them, yeah. Where it's, like, the only one where it's, Well, like, because science fiction... The main idea behind science fiction is, like, our world, but, like, what if this? Yeah, that's... But Star Wars is, like, no, it's other like, world, no, other and world. what if this? And what if... What if there were space wizards, right? What if, well, that's not even the concept, though. No. What if there was just a war? Like... What if there was every story in one story and it was in space? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the concept. That's of not a concept though. That's that's the story. Yep, what a concept! <laughs> like that's like because Star Wars Star Wars isn't isn't really a sci-fi. It's more of a fantasy. And it's more of a fairy tale, really. Yeah. Than anything. It's a really good one. Oh, it's fucking amazing! It's really good. That's that's why like these are reasons why it's good. Is <laughs> anything yeah. I say about Star no, Wars? No, I talked about like, I talked about Star Wars. Actually, my, uh, even if it sounds like I'm complaining, my, it's really yeah. like why I like it. <laughs> yeah, on my Umber applicant or whatever, like yeah. on my Umber application, like on the one because there's like the one question section. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Before, like, yeah, there's kind of like general questions. Question. General and one of them, one of them was like, "What's like the best movie ever and why?" I'm like, oh, freaking Star Wars, and then I was just like, <laughs> kind of like like went yeah. super deep into it, like. Just kind of like all like how on a technical level it's like super good mm-hmm. and like I'm just talking about like and then the one thing I said like I just it was kind of my X Men Apocalypse pitch where I just kind of made it up as I was saying it like, yeah as yeah. I was writing it I was making it up which is that you could categorize all of film into everything before Star Wars and everything after <laughs> it's true like to get like that's like, how important it is like it's the Jesus of film <laughs> it's just like <laughs> it is <laughs> at least to me <laughs> it's like BSW ASW. <laughs> I got, I got, I like, I know it's... We're in 40 ASW, did you know that? What? It's been 40 years since New Hope came out. Oh. <laughs> well, even in, in the Star Wars universe, like, you know how they do timelines? Yeah. It's it's BBY or... Um, before the Battle of Yavin. Before the, which is after. before the Battle of Yavin. I saw I guess, this whole, like, video a, about, like, the ABY, war, which is after the Battle of Yavin. The war of the galaxy and, like, the warring factions and the kind of people who took 
number it's one. Like, like, yeah, but like, it's really cool. Though. It's cool, but like, I don't care about that stuff. No, as I just think it's kind of cool though. How much I, I like the, the like. No, I, I mostly watch it for just the gap between six and seven. Right. Yeah. yeah. And just kind of like between three and four also because I mean, but like that stuff's cool because it's like I should be able to watch. Seven, eight, nine, and know what happened. I know all yeah. the things that I need no, to I know like, that happened between I have, six and seven. Like a lot of this is kind of sad. I'm sad to say I'm friends with these people. I'm sorry, friends. You're all great, but like some of my friends like didn't get into Star Wars until seven came out. Like they watched seven <laughs> and they watched the other one. Like I'm not saying How it's not. How dare you? I'm not saying it's not no, bad, okay. but like like I think it's great that that we've introduced Star Wars to a whole bunch of people. But it's like where were you? Right? <laughs> Star Wars is real. <laughs> yeah, come on, like. Come on, man. What, what have you been doing your whole life? <laughs> not watching Star Wars. Yeah. I know that's an egocentric, like, egocentrism thing, where it's like, it's, when you're a kid, you just kind of assume everyone grew up the same way. Right, yeah, yeah. In reality, that's not true. And, like, you start to figure that out when you, you ask people if they've seen Star Wars before. Yeah, I know. But, like, it's, 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 when you grow up with Star Wars, Star Wars, like, just shapes your life and shapes who you are. <laughs> yeah. You know what I got on, so, on a su- like such a higher level. On like a subatomic level. I know. And it's so super, like it's, it's super weird to grow up with. baffling to know yeah. to like meet people that haven't met because it's like <laughs> well then how did you like learn about anything? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like what who even are you? Like it's yeah. it's hard it's actually hard for like yeah. Sometimes it's hard for like people yeah. who grew up with Star Wars to relate to other people because it's that like fundamentally yeah. game changing for a person, you know? Yeah, like, what's super weird about Star Dad Wars for chill. for me, though, and I think for, for us, and just kind of, I feel like just for us and no one else, because I don't think this applies to a lot of other people. Maybe some of my friends, actually. Um, like, other ones. Other friends. Um, but, uh, <laughs> that because we grew up with the originals and the prequels at the same time, right? like, like, although those prequel films, they're terrible, and mm-hmm. I know that, they're still nostalgic for me. Oh yeah, I still like them. I still, I still, watch, I still, I still like them. I, I still I, watch them. I know for a, I, I know for a fact <laughs> I I like Attack of the Clones way more than I should. Yeah, exactly. Like, right. Like I like I remember distinctly as a kid, I was in kindergarten. I was with my friend Ty Tyler T Money, and uh, this other girl who who who's the the daughter of the girl who the woman who babysat us after oh after, yeah after yeah, kindergarten. Yeah, I, remember her. I distinctly remember. Being in our living room, playing Attack the Clones while it's on the television, playing, playing Attack, like acting it out as it's happening. Oh, like, oh yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. I, I got to be Obi Wan, and I was like trying not to get like crushed by. This well, that's praying. true. Try, like, I was rolling around on the ground trying not to get crushed by this praying man. I was pretending that I have handcuffs on my hands. Like, so it was, like <laughs> these are these are weird memories that I have as a kid. So that's true. Uh, Star Wars. It's was like sh- things that like you would have seen like like in the seventies. You would have seen kids doing that. Like, oh, I'm Darth yeah, Vader, yeah. and oh no, I am your father, and like all that kind of stuff. Yeah, like, you, see did, those, you see those we kids. We did that shit with the prequels. <laughs> but we did that with the prequels, which is just it's just yeah. super weird. Like, no, I, I definitely did that with my friends too. All of that and Lord of the Rings were big yeah. with my friends as well. Yeah, I remember you like nominated each of you to be <laughs> different characters and stuff. Yeah, like I mean, I mean, who are you? Which character are you? In. In Lord of the Rings. Which Lord of the Rings? Of oh, your friends, which character? Of oh, my high school friends or my elementary school friends? <laughs> I think it's funny that your high school friends still did that. <laughs> my high school friends were so immature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, like, I am too, so, like, I can't yeah. like, really... That's why they were your, that's why they were your friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I can't really, like, yeah. fall down Okay, so which, which, year, which one? Um, we'll just say both. It, I... I would... I don't even know if I would be in, in elementary, but I, in... In, uh... In in high school, I was I was Gandalf. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, because you don't talk. <laughs> well, because because uh, Gandalf talks. <laughs> well, not in the second one when he's dead, or the last, or the first, the second half of the first one when he's dead. <laughs> I yeah, I guess. So you're saying I yeah. I'm dead for half of my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you count the number of words that you say on average, <laughs> and the number of words that Gandalf says on I'm average, dead by it. <laughs> <laughs> on, hey. He's it's only close. dead. So it's, it's a close draw. You, know, you, can't, you can't argue with that logic. That's fair. Yeah. I'm sorry for yeah. calling you dead. <laughs> Shots fired. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, elementary school was, was was it was different. Also, in elementary school, because I wasn't allowed to watch Little Wings for the first like few years or that. Like, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I wasn't. And then you weren't allowed to watch it, but I yeah. could. Yeah. But like, I there was no time where I could watch it. Like when I was sick, you, you could. But like if if I was sick and I could and I stayed home from school, yeah. then I could watch Little Wings. So I'd like watch like one, and it was like a few months 
until like I saw the next one because it was like Yo. I wasn't stake until then. So like eventually you didn't have to wait a year at least. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then, but like my friends had all seen it, and then yeah, we would like hang out and and like and play that and stuff like. Yeah. And also they were big into the, the Lord of the Rings games too. So like, oh yeah, because those were like that was a like hardcore RPG, right? Like that was like yeah, the, no, like the the, the re- I don't know how good the Two Towers one is, but the Return of the King game was like yeah, fucking cool. awesome. Oh really? Yeah. That one, like, I think that was an and RPG, were, right? Well, there was there was one for PSP that was like a it was like a it was like a what's it called? Um, uh, Fire Emblem. It was like a tactics oh, game. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, and that I know was Shadow of Mordor was basically Assassin's Creed and Lord of the Rings. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Sean's freaking amazing. Yeah, and I've heard that game is great. That one's getting a sequel now too. Oh really? Yeah. Is it gonna be on the Switch? Oh, probably. Not. <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't know. Oh. Like, it should be like. Uh, the Switch is so many like and it's, like it's, yes and no. That's yeah, like, there's a lot of like it's one. We're already over one. It, it, now. It's like one. If are we? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Last last quick thoughts on the Switch. Yeah. One. It's in a lot of ways. It's exactly it's the what the Wii system gap. It, but it's, true. it's what the system. It's, what it's the, a lot. Of, a lot of it is what been. the Wii U should have been. Yeah. But it also feels like they're coming short on a lot of stuff. Yeah, which that's is, like which that's is Nintendo is like innovation, I, but always coming short. Yeah, like, a little becoming like yeah. I love Nintendo. I want them to succeed, and I want yeah. like great games to come like, out for their consoles. Like I was such but an, like it yeah. feels like no. Like why don't we have Skyrim day one? Like yeah, how how long does it take you to make a game that came out like ten years ago? Yeah. Really, like, it was six years ago. But I mean, yeah, but see, yeah, yeah that's even, a long time. That's a long time. It's eleven, eleven. On the so um, I mean, yeah, that's the thing. Like I was like I I I grew up like a complete Nintendo fanboy. But I mean, like I'm I'm older en- enough now to respect that there are oh yeah, there are other good games there are other good other games consoles. that come up yeah because like so that's why like, that's why fuck, I, fuck you PlayStation GameCube's what, where it is yeah, at yeah. bitch so I bought a PlayStation too yeah. right so I mean like I'm just like <laughs> I don't even care anymore it doesn't just, ma- now it doesn't matter it doesn't matter there's there's good games for all because basically. I don't because <laughs> Nintendo's not even part of the console war so I don't even care right like, the console, yeah it's yeah console war is dumb it's all it's all dumb and it's yeah the idea of the console war is the only point of that right now is like. So that there's competition. Is that the prices aren't ridiculous? Well, the competition drives um, it, sales. Sales, yeah. Right. So yeah, that's the main okay. reason PlayStation versus okay. Xbox. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I think, think we're done. I think we're done. We're done.